Hi, it's Kathy Hampton here from Wellside Retreats. And Wellside Retreats is a transformational destination retreat and life coaching service. I help Black women move away from what no longer serves them, move toward what will serve them well. Thank you for uh, visiting my channel. If this is the first time that you have um, seen my video or videos and um, haven't liked, subscribed, uh, or ring the notification bell, I ask that you, you do that um, and you'll make, be made aware when a new video is uploaded. Thank you and welcome to the channel. So um, today's discussion or my little talk is about running away and how sometimes women believe, feel uh, this e instinctive feeling of running away. Now, I'm not talking about taking time away or getting away, literally an urgency in running away. And usually this happens when they are overwhelmed or we are overwhelmed. We are um, uh, feeling a little hopeless. Uh, we are um, anxious, maybe a little depressed, depressed. Uh, have the blues, um, but usually it happens when someone is overwhelmed in their response um, to others um, that they need to get away or the environment in which they are in. Um, so this um, usually happens to caregivers who are taking care of others um, if you are a woman 50 and older, you know that um, you've, and if you have a family, you have taken care of uh, children, partners, spouses. Um, if you are within the sandwich generation, you know that you were taking care of children, uh, parents, maybe even grandchildren. You're an auntie to somebody and you feel that you are overwhelmed and just want to head for the hills. You want to go as fast as you can. I understand uh, if you are a, uh, uh, an employee uh, and have been uh, working for a long time and you are unfulfilled with the work that you're doing or the people that you have to associate with and feel that you need to get away as quick as you can from that job um, or even that career, and you just want to run away from it all. I understand it. These are natural, actually natural feelings of someone who is feeling overwhelmed, unsatisfied, unfulfilled. And what I want to share with you are the seeds of um, compassion, pride, and gratitude with you uh, and let you know that it's okay to feel that feeling of urgency to move away from what no longer serves you, what no longer is making you happy, isn't get, bringing you any joy, and um, that there is some, you believe, and your spirit believes actually, that there is something out there for you that is better than what you have. And usually this feeling is such, so urgent that some people act upon that urgency. They, um, they jump to move or to run away, which can cause some problems. So I'm, I'm here to kind of slow you down a little bit, but not to tell you uh, that you shouldn't move, not to tell you that you shouldn't take any action. In fact, you should. And you need to do it with the compassion for yourself because compassion for yourself is that love that you were, you are, and you will be loved by yourself. Self-compassion. If you take these actions, then 
the pride, feel pride in yourself. That means the value of who you are, that you are valuable and that you deserve to move forward, get away. And thirdly, feel the gratitude, acknowledge the blessings that you have, which will then energize you and propel you to take action. Because once you realize that you have it all within you and you are grateful for all that you ha do have within, I'm not talking material, I'm talking about what you have within, then you can then make the steps, the nest, take the necessary steps to move away, not necessarily run away, hurriedly. You want to move away and take these practical steps to do so. So while you are compassionate, you have pride in who you are, you value yourself, and you are, are, are grateful, start taking the movement, which can take the form of getting out of the environment that you're in. If you're in the house and there's chaos and there's uh, you're being pulled to do all manner of things, it's time to take a walk. It's time to get some fresh air. It's time to find a spot, even if it's in the house or outside of the house in a garden, in a park. Find a place for you to sit with yourself. The next thing you want to do is to, once taking that time, realize that you need to be quiet. You may want to uh, meditate. You may want to pray. You may want to journal. And this is very important. Um, and how you get thoughts out of your head into another platform to free up some space in your mind, to declutter some of that clutter that you've had in the environments that you don't necessarily have time to declutter because you're always on the go. And the other thing you want to do once you've gotten out, you've sat with yourself, You've taken the time to release some of that, uh, that clutter or that uh, mind fog is, is to then consider how you can get away for a longer period of time, how you can take the time for yourself. And you can do that by making a plan of taking, making a plan to take action to move forward with some long range plans, um, including uh, space and time continually for yourself. Will I, these are the questions you can ask yourself. Do I need a walk every day in the park? Do I need to uh, sit and journal at a certain hour of the day? Do I need to meditate and pray? Do I need to uh, get in touch with myself more by just being still and quiet? These are the actions, the practical actions that you can take. And then think about long range plans to relieve you of the caring for others so much. Maybe you need to change up a little bit on those Make a plan for how you're going to do that. Make a plan for possibly um, getting some time away from work, taking a sabbatical, taking a, uh, a solo trip, um, taking a trip with a friend um, outside of family or your current circle. Um, or uh, how are you gonna change the unfulfillment in your life, whether that be on the job or the position that you have, maybe you need to learn something new, broaden your horizons. Making a change can take you really far if you sit down and think about it. 
how to make a change in your current state. And it's transformational. It can be transformational. I always go back to when I took my, what I'm gonna call uh, now, I call now a retreat, a short retreat uh, with some women. Um, I was invited to go uh, on, a, on a trip to Arizona to a spa. And it was the best four days that I could have had. I didn't realize the pain that I was in physically and didn't realize how much uh, I needed to get away. Um, and you know, it's funny, when I think back about that time, I actually declined the invitation at first because I was thinking, what, what I, how, how can I, how can I get away when I have all of these people <laughs> I have to care for? And something deep inside of me uh, spoke to me. And I believe that was God, the universe, my spiritual guide telling me that I needed to get away. And I didn't have to run away. I didn't have to run away. So you don't have to urgently run away. What that figuratively means is that you need to get away, take some time for yourself and see that there is something else out there in this big world that will be pleasing to you. And you can only realize that when you are compassionate to yourself. Compassion means that you were, you are, and will be great and are enough. The other thing is that you are take pride in yourself. You value yourself and you have gratitude. You are blessed and wonderfully blessed with what you have with inside of you. You are grateful for those things. So um, when you can line all of that up and know that, which I bundle up into self-awareness, when you are aware, then you can move away. You can take time away. You can go away. I've had some friends of mine early in their, you know, uh, adult lives uh, with children who basically said, you know what? I get myself a hotel room every once in a while, maybe once a month and spend the day with myself. Uh, I take myself out uh, for coffee. I go out and, you know, uh, buy myself some flowers. I get away. I take walks, I take walks, I hike. And in fact, I'll share with you that I bought some hiking boots for, what was the occasion? I think it was to go on a, yeah, it was to go on a field trip with my, my daughter. And I bought some hiking boots. And um, I just, that was probably 13 years ago. And I just recently threw those hiking boots away because when I needed to get away, the runaway that turned into a getaway <laughs> was my days hiking. I learned how to walk hour upon hour in my neighborhood, which was a beautiful, hilly neighborhood. I got air, I saw beautiful sights, I had there were trees and I walked so far that I needed those hiking boots and um, got in very good shape. But I'm saying all of this to you because I understand the feeling of urgency when you think or say to yourself or you say to others, I feel like running away. I've heard this from my mother <laughs> who um, as, a, as a young divorced woman with three girls, used to say, I just feel like running away. And you know, the funny thing about it, <clears throat> I think back when I, I was a teenager and I was like, well, you just need to go to the mall and walk around. That was my thought. Uh, or 
I would say to her, okay, go away, go, go do something. I was old enough then to realize that she was stressed and that she was doing uh, a lot as a single parent. Um, and she was a teacher. Um, she was taking care of children 24 seven, uh, 365 days of a week of the year. <laughs> a week. And, um, she needed time and she learned how to constructively do that. And, um, so when I started feeling like I wanted to run away, I got it. I understood then what she may have been going through. Now at the age of 58, I can constructively, energetically uh, do take action to get away um, for myself um, and realize what serves me well within me to be able to get away. I hope that this uh, video has helped you in some way. Uh, I'm going to leave some links in the description and um, I'd like you to sign up for um, journaling workshops that get on the wait list for journaling workshops that I'm gonna have because I find that journaling and getting uh, what is in your head out is so important. I also want to encourage you to, um, to uh, take some time to walk about, take some time to get away, make a plan to care for yourself, whether that be um, a retreat, whether that be a, um, a girlfriend's weekend out or even a solo trip uh, for yourself. Um, I'm also going to uh, provide a link to a wait list for future retreats that I'm planning. And if you're interested in receiving information about those, please um, sign up uh, and get on the wait list and um, see what other offerings that I may have. And don't run away, take time to get away. Take care and I'll talk with you later. Bye.